Hey everybody, it's Jim with EDN again. So let's say you're an application developer who wants to build mapping applications for mobile devices. I think you'll find that ArcGIS Mobile is very powerful. Over the next few minutes, Sabine Barrera with our mobile team is going to give us a high-level walkthrough for how a developer would use our SDK. Uh, what we want to do is we want to take you from a completely blank Visual Studio project all the way in a couple of minutes to a completely deployed, very simple application on a mobile device. This is not a detailed tutorial. Of course, for more details and samples, we encourage you to go to the ArcGIS Mobile Resource Center. So, Sabine tells us that she can walk us through this in just a few steps. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, I would say that maybe five steps. And the first one would be starting, you know, Visual Studio and creating a new project. The second one would be configuring and connecting your device. The third one would be um, deploying the runtime and the data. The fourth would be writing actually the application and testing it. And the fifth would be deploying the application in your hard device. So it's fairly straightforward, just like that, yeah? Yeah, I think so. All right, well, let's dig into Visual Studio and get started. All right. OK, here is my Visual Studio 2005, and I'm going to create a project, a new project here. This is going to be a smart device project, and it's going to be a, a mobile six um, professional classic device application. So I need to specify a location for this particular project and a name. So this, in this case, this is going to be called UMAP, and click OK. Now here we have our form. OK, so you said the next step is to configure the emulator to work with Visual Studio. How do you do that? I go to my tools in Visual Studio and I select the device emulator manager. Select the Mobile 6 Classic emulator and I just right click on it and I click on connect. What this is going to do, this is going to start and connect the device emulator with my laptop, my computer. This is the emulator. Now what I need to do is I go under file and I need to configure it. right? So in general I can specify um, directory and this directory is going to be in my computer and it's going to be mounted in my device. In this case it's going to be mounted as the storage card. So I'm going to use the CTMP directory in my computer. The, the second thing I need to do is I need to configure, configure the network. So I'm going to check here to enable the network adapt, adapter to establish a bind between the virtual network and the, my, local, my local network. So now I click OK. So I'm going to use Active Sync for that purpose, and I'm going to select Connection Settings. In the Connection Settings, I'm going to specify that the connection will be DMA, and that we're going to use our word network. OK. So I click OK. Now we can see that the Active Sync is doing something. Now I have to go back to my Device Emulator Manager, and I need to cradle the Device Emulator. OK. Once I'm done this, you can see the uh, active sync connecting. And I can here just choose cancel because I want to connect just a guest. Now I can explore my device. Okay, the third step is now deploying uh, my runtime and my data in okay. my emulator device. To do so, I just need to drag the RGIS mobile runtime into my device. Once I'm done this, now I need to go in my device and I need to install it. Here is my, my runtime. I just double click on it and I'm going to choose to install it in the device. Okay, so we have everything up and configured. Let's start writing some code. How do we do that? So the first thing I need to do is I need to set the controls in my form. What do we need? We need a map control. So I just double click on it and I'm going to change it here to talk into the parent. Now, the second thing I want to do is I want to change the property in my um, form to be minimize box. It was too false. This allows me that when I close the application in the emulator, the debugger stops. Now, the third thing I, I want to check here is that my target device is my Windows Mobile Classic emulator. So, this is done. Now, I need to go to my form and in form load, I can start writing the code to visualize the map. So I'm going to use my mobile service and I'm going to specify the cache, the storage cache, and I'm going to specify the location. So I'm going to specify that this is going to be my storage card and it's called application cache. The second line of code that I need is to open this cache. And we're done. 
Now I need to run the application. Okay. And what it's doing right now is deploying this application in my device, and it starts the application for me. So here is my map. So Looks this, good. Yeah, this is the application. Okay. So now you have the application running in the emulator. Uh, can I pan and zoom around on that map? Not yet. Not yet. We need to. We need to write this code. We need code for everything. Okay. How do we do that? Okay. Let me close this. And now back to my form, and I select in my map, and uh, we have a property called map actions. Map actions are um, actions that you can perform on the map. For example, you can add a pan map action, or you can add a zoom in and out map action. So that's what we're going to do. By default, the pan map action is the current action in the map. Now, I need to add a couple of menu items to set these map actions to the map. So I'm going to have a, a pan, and I'm going to have a zoom in and out. Now, I go into my pan, pan menu item, and I'm going to say that the map, current map action, is going to be the pan map action. And on the zoom in and out, I'm going to say that map action is going to be equal to the zoom in and out map action. And we're done. I need to run it again. Okay. Now the default map action is panning. And now I'm going to click on zoom in and out. I'm going to zoom in a portion of the map. Very good. Pretty straightforward and pretty quick. Yes. Okay, so you showed us how to write a little application that works. Now, how do I deploy that onto a hard mobile device? To do so, first I need to connect my device, my computer. So I'm using ActiveSync. I'm going to use the USB connection to connect to my device. Now you see it's connecting to my device. In the dialog, I'm going to say cancel so I can be connected as a guest. Now I'm going to connect to my device so you can see it from uh, this window. Okay, so what we're looking at on your screen, that's not an emulator, that's an actual display of the device you're holding onto, right? Correct. Now, in order to deploy my um, project into my device, I need to change the target to be my device. Now I can right-click on my project, and I'm going to say Deploy. You can see Deploy is starting, and Deploy succeeded. Now I go and look for my file explorer. And you can see under program files in my device, there is the view map. So this is my application that I just deployed. So I'm going to double click on it. Application is going to start. Okay, so here is my application with the navigation that we implemented. That's the pen. Now I'm going to zoom in and out. Super. All right, so it's as straightforward as that. Five-step process from going from zero all the way to a deployed application. Yes, this is it. All right, anything else? No, I think that's it for today. All right, thanks a lot for your time, <laughs> Sabine. Okay, you're welcome. See you.